Hello everyone, I'm Aaron from The Know How and today in this video, we are going to teach you how do you set up your G-Code process processor if you have maybe a machine from China or US. So in this example, we are going to set up a post processor. Okay, so first we will go to the desktop and first you have to open Python Central. Under Extra, click on Model Edit Setting Files. Okay, you should see a G Code Post Processor. Okay, if you do not see this folder, you first need to open Python, click on Workshop Settings, and first press Define Tools, close it, Machine Strategy, close it, and Machine Settings, and close it. Alright, and then you should have the setting files here. So open the G-Code Post Processor. You should see Python Standard, G-Code. Okay, in this case now, we are going to, I'm going to show you how we integrate a KDT. So I'm just going to copy this KDT CNC Post Processor inside. Okay, so right now the KDT CNC Post Processor is inside. How do you get all the other Post Processor? Please ask from your respective dealers because different dealers they have uh they have the different types of G code post processor. But of course, in first in in your subscription your your license you should under the CNC output be able to select G code. Okay, this shows that you have the G code license. Okay, so right now how are we going to set it up first? We will go into settings and define tools. We are going to state the tools in the CNC. For example, we have a tool list from a customer. And in this CNC, it says that number one is the engraving. Number two is the 6mm. Number three is the 10mm. For this example, I'm just going to put the 6mm and 10mm tool. Okay. So if I know it's in two holder tool, okay, I will say new. Okay, over here we are saying number two. Okay, and I'll call this six mm two. Make it router universal. Okay, state the two diameter, state the height of the two. Okay, and most importantly, state the feed rate of the two. So under here, the vertical feed rate, I can put one thousand five hundred. Horizontal feed rate, you can put five thousand. Okay, do a new one. I'm going to say tool number three. And from here, we could see that it's a 10 mm cutter. So 10 mm tool. Okay, put it as router universal. 10 mm. Maybe for 10 mm, my tool height is 40. Okay, I'm just going to put also same thing for the 5000 and 1500 for the speed which is the rpm we can put 30,000 okay if you do not put all this speed i think your cnc machine will just use the default speed i'm going to press ok and how do you set up your machine go to machine settings okay and we are going to do a new machine so we will say new machine okay and I can call this KDT CNC for example. Scroll down and look for the tool that you just added. So for me, I just added a 6mm tool and a 10mm tool. This tool. Check it up. Check. Okay, zero position. Put a clearance height of maybe 30mm so that every time after the cutter cuts, it goes up at 30mm. Under the post processor, select KDT. Okay, export directory, you can put the export directory back to your desktop. And the extension will change it to .nc. So it's a .nc code. Press OK. And now we have set up the drilling. The, okay, so right now I'm going to show you an example. We have a carcass. Alright, and I'm just going to make this carcass a little bit more exciting by just cutting a hole in it. And I'll say difference, click, click, done. Okay. So right now we are going to say routed parts, all parts, enter, and that equal thickness, delta one. And I'm going to use the 10mm 
it's harder. So I'm going to use the 10 mm tool. Okay, but this time maybe because the board is 18, I'm just going to say the first cut is 10, the second cut is 19. Okay, I'm going to use the same tool, 10 mm router, and I'm going to choose the right side. Okay, and I press OK. I'm going to put a machining for the internal, so I'll say routed edges, click on this, enter, border edge, but internal I'll use left, L. Done. Okay, so now I'm going to draw out the panel by 18, 4 by 8, and I'll say nesting. This is my panel, enter, these are the parts that I want to cut. I'll say that the nesting, the gap between every part is 12 mm. Alright. And press OK. So now Python arranges the system. Okay. And you can see here we have a preview of the parts. And how do we export this as a G code? We say export to CAM. So like this, choose KDT CNC for example. Okay, and I press OK. And now on my desktop, we have the G code that is created. As the NC file. So this is how you configure your NC system. All right. So if you have any other questions, please drop us a comment. If you have any other suggestions for the videos that you want us to cover in the next few videos, do send us a message. Thank you.